All right, guys, let's talk about dictionaries a little bit. I've uh, gotten a few questions about the digging through the dictionary page. And I would like to just kind of take a moment and talk about how you could still answer a couple of those questions that are on that page without having a dictionary. All right, you ready? We're going to get started. With so many words in the dictionary, we have to remember how they are organized inside of the dictionary. Uh, we practice this skill when we do our social studies vocab. You look through the glossary. The first thing you do is you find the letter that it begins with. And then as you look through the words uh, that all begin with that same letter, you begin to see how they are organized. So if you already remember how they are organized, and you have a parent or a friend or a brother or sister sitting next to you, go ahead and take a moment and tell them how you think all of these words in the dictionary are organized. If you guess that all of the entry words in the dictionary are listed in alphabetical order, then great job. Give yourself a pat on the back, give yourself a thumbs up. Uh, excellent work. But what does alphabetical order mean? It means that the words appear by the first letter according to the alphabet, then you move on to the second letter, still according to the alphabet, so on and so forth until you have run out of letters. Can you alphabetize these words on this slide? You have the word tree, song, and tablet. Um, we know that S comes before T, right? Q, R, S, T. So we know song begins first. But then you have two words that also begin with T. So then we move to the second letter, and that second letter is R and A. We then know that tablet comes next because A is the first letter of the alphabet. Then the final word would be tree. So we know that all the words in the dictionary are listed in alphabetical order, but that is a ton of words. If you were to just start flipping through a dictionary looking for one word, it would be pretty difficult. So we use what are called guide words to help us decide if the word that we are looking for is on a certain page or not. So guide words are the two words at the very top of every dictionary page. They tell you the first word on that page and the very last word on that page. So if I had the guide words farm to fit, what words might I find on that page? I might find the word fight. Would I find the word fight between the words farm and fist? The way that I would decide this is I would look at my word fight. The word fight starts with an F. I know that the word starting with F can be found on this page. So I could start there. I then look at the next letter of my word. The next letter of my word is I. I compare this to the word fist that is the last word on this page. I see that words that begin with F, second letter I, can appear on this page. So I look to the next letter. The next letter of my word fight is G. Can I find words that have the first letters F, I, G on this page? Well, the last word on this page is spelled F, I, S. So G comes before S in the alphabet. I would continue looking on this page for the word fight. How about you practice a couple? Would I find the word fern on this page? Take a moment and compare the letters in the word fern, F-E-R-N. Did you decide? If you thought that you could find the word fern on this page, give yourself a thumbs up. Great job. How about one more? The word 
fright. F R I G H T. Would I find this word on this page? Take a moment and decide. If you thought that you could not find this word on this page, again, give yourself a thumbs up. You look at the letters F R and know that I cannot find the word on this page. R comes after I in the alphabet. All right, let's move on. On the next couple of slides, you are going to practice making some decisions on what words you might find on a page in a dictionary with the first word farm and the last word fist. All right, remember, the words on this dictionary page come after farm, but they also come before fist in alphabetical order. All right, friends, still working with those words, farm through fist. Which word would be on the dictionary page with these guide words? Would it be the word gate? Would it be the word feet? Or would it be the word fun? The best thing you can do is to first put all of the words in alphabetical order. You have the word farm through fit. So the first word out of those other three words would be the word farm. I would list that word first. Then I would look at the remaining four words. I have the word feet, I have the word fun, I have the word gate, and I have the word fist. I know that's the last word on my page. Can any of those words fit between farm and fist? Well, we see that the word feet fits right in between them. And then I continue looking at my letters. As you can see, we then have fist, fun, and gate. All right, let's try another one. If I have the words rain through read. Remember, rain is the first word on the page, and read is the last word on the page. Which word would be on the dictionary page with these two guide words? Runner, raft, or ram? Look at each of these words, going from letter to letter, and see if you can figure out which word would be on this page. All right, last one. You now have the words mother through nap. Mother is the first word on the page. Nap is the last word on the page. Which one of these words would you find on that page? Mud, nine, or moss? All right, so now let's revisit our digging through the dictionary page you are asked a couple of different times between what two guide words would you find this word. Looking at number two, you have the word craft. Now you might not have a dictionary at home, so you might not know exactly what word this word would appear between in a dictionary. But now you know a little bit more about what those guide words really mean. It means that there's going to be the first word on a page and there's going to be the last word on the page. So if you do not have a dictionary at home, go ahead and just create a word that would come before that and a word that would come after it. Um, just make sure your words are in alphabetical order and I would like both words that you come up with to already begin with the letter of the first word of the word that goes in the middle. So for example, number two, Please don't give me a word that starts with a B and a word that starts with a D. Give me three words that all begin with the letter C. But make sure the first word, your guide word, your first one, has something that's before CR. And your last one should be something that is after CR. All right, I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys come up with. Keep up the hard work. I miss you guys all the time. I'll see you in class soon.